Just a short one to bring to you guys today regarding an amazing discovery emerging from Israel. But before that, we wanted to bring this to your attention. Now, please consider what you're looking at here, guys. This is telling us that only 10% of you have this bell icon feature enabled for all notifications. If you could, take a moment and if you are subscribed, but you don't have the bell icon switched on, then please go ahead and hit that bell icon. Just being subscribed to the channel won't allow you to receive content alerts. And we do have a ton of content planned over the next week, which we don't want you guys missing out on. So, please be aware of this feature. Anyway guys, thank you in advance for doing that. We do feel this feature should automatically turn on all notifications upon subscribing to our channel, but it doesn't. And we appreciate your cooperation. Wait till you hear this. The Church of the Apostle, which is said to have been built over the house of Jesus' disciples, Peter and Andrew, has potentially been unearthed by a team of Israeli and American archaeologists along the Sea of Galilee in northern Israel. For many years, the international team of experts have been uncovering the ancient Jewish fishing village of Bethsaida on the Sea of Galilee. The story of this ancient find started in the year 725 when a Christian pilgrim named St. Willibald, the 8th century bishop of Bavaria, during his travel to the Sea of Galilee, he set sail from Capernaum to Kersey. On the way, he stopped in Bethsaida and he reports that he saw the church of Peter and Andrew. This church was built over the homes of the houses of Jesus' disciples, Peter and Andrew. In a recent online interview, which we will link below, Dr. Mati Aviam, professor of archaeology at Kinneret College, said, There is no other church that is known between Capernaum and Kersey. We also assume that the site we are digging in, Al Araj, is a more likely candidate to be the location of the Bethsaida than is the Jordan Park, which is a few kilometers away. The experts knew that they discovered a church when they saw common indicators such as tessera and other pieces of marble that coincided with the design of a church during that time period. Until now, the team has unearthed the southern wall and mosaic floors. However, the professor admits that they need at least another two to three years to uncover the rest of the church. We thought that may be of interest to you, a neat little discovery with huge religious importance one that caught our eye, and we also wanted to point out the bell icon. We really should be reaching more than 10% of our entire audience, and even if we get that situated a little bit, then of course it will be better for everyone with an interest in the content that we bring to you. Comments below, guys, and as always, thank you for watching.